Okay, um, today we are doing a quick video comparing the um, module performance uh, of Rapid Fire and uh, SkyZone's uh, SteadyView X um, on the HD Zero goggles. And really quickly before we begin, um, this is a pretty fair comparison. Me and my, my buddy helped me out with this. We both have HD Zero goggles. Um, we have the respective modules on each, and we both have the same two antennas on the modules, two um, RACP lollipops. Um, so this is pretty much one for one. So I'm going to play the video here and you can decide um, for yourself what you think. I don't have really too much to say, um, but I'll fill the background a little bit here. You know, I've been enjoying the HD Zero goggles um, since I've gotten them. It was, it was a pretty big upgrade for me as I was on uh, box goggles prior. But one of the things that I haven't been enjoying is really the analog performance. Um, only one aspect of the analog performance um, on rapid fire, and that is the rolling screen issue. Uh, it's going to come up here in a little bit, and you'll see that. Um, but outside of the rolling screen, the reception on the rapid fire is is great. It really is great, um, and you can kind of see that here. I mean, we're in a basement, and we're on two stubby um, omnis, so I, I, you know, this type of reception from the rapid fire, I think, is is better than average. Um, and you know, I've tried a bunch of different firmwares, unreleased firmwares, official firmwares, seeing if this rolling screen goes away and take a look on the left. See that? Yeah, that's the rolling screen issue I'm talking about. Um, you'll notice that steady view got bad, but it was for me a lot more flyable as you don't lose the picture when the screen rolls like that, my, my brain just melts and I, I can't. It, it will cause you to crash. Um, that's why. That's definitely why I hit that branch right there. <laughs> but definitely not my own piloting skills. Um, yeah, so that for me at the moment, and I, and I have faith that they'll fix it, but that is a deal breaker. Like I can't fly analog um, on the rapid fire module with, with that happening because if that happens at the wrong time, you're, you, you're going to crash. And, it, you know, I can't, I can't do that. The steady view... Um, I've had I had the Sky Zone box goggles prior, and that receiver in there was was amazing, and it doesn't feel as though that this is performing as well, um, at least as well as Rapid Fire in this environment. Uh, outside, you know, with with a standard patch and a long range Omni, the breakup is less severe, and on top of that, you don't get the rolling screen, which is for me the deal breaker. You know what I mean? Um, and because of that reason, um, I'm going to be using the um, Steady View X module. You know, I don't care if the breakup is a little more severe than Rapid Fire. Um, you know, I don't care if the, the colors are worse. I don't care about any of that because of the rolling screen. You know, that rolling screen is a is an absolute deal breaker. Um, so I'm going to go with that. And, and again, I think they are going to fix it, um, but for the time being. You know, hopefully that comparison helps people out if they're deciding which module to choose. I guess that's kind of a harder question. If you already have rapid fire module, then you know, give it a try. Maybe it's not as bad for you somehow. Maybe I got a, maybe all the modules that I've tested, which you know are only two, um, are just bad. But I've heard this issue kind of consistently. Um, but yeah, that kind of shows that it is just a problem with rapid fire. I don't know. If if this is common knowledge or not, it wasn't to me, and it really isn't readily available. So hopefully this kind of helps you out. Um, if you got both, or if you want to buy the Sky Zone module, yeah, I don't think you're going to get that rolling screen issue to the severity of it, of rapid fire. Um, yeah, I mean, but then again, if you're flying analog inside, you know, you're just doing some whooping or something, uh, or you're in not in an environment where you're you're concerned about the rolling screen, it doesn't happen as often. Um, if you're inside or, you know, direct line of um, sight to the to the quad, but if you go behind, you know, a house or a tree, and you know, it just seems to, it happens when it wants to happen, and it's bad when it happens. Okay, I'm sure this is, this is self-evident. Again, hopefully this helped out. Um, yeah, talk to you later.